Hi, I'm Chu Yen, the Senior Lecturer of Medical Biotechnology Program. I have Prok Chin with me today to talk about the Medical Biotechnology Program. Prok Chin, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. My name is B.Y. Chin, and I'm a professor who teaches in the Medical Biotech Program in IMU. Prok Chin, as I have been involved in many educational affairs and IMU Open Day, where prospective students and parents often ask me what is medical biotechnology all about. Perhaps, Prok Chin, can you help to define what is MB is? I have had similar questions asked of me too, Chu Yan. So in order to understand what MB is, we need to break it down into its two main components. Firstly, what is medicine? Medicine is a science that figures out how the cells and organs in our body works and how we manage and treat diseases. Secondly, how do we define biotechnology? Biotechnology is a science that uses the biology of any living organisms to help us live long and productive lives. Then we put them together, we have medical biotechnology. So medical biotechnology or MB is a biological discipline that primarily studies DNA of living organisms such as viruses and bacteria and how we use these organisms to come up with ways to help us treat and manage diseases. It is interesting that a lot of people may not realize that some of the medications that they may be taking are medical biotechnology creations. Isn't that amazing to you yet? Yeah, of course. You know, for example, insulin for diabetes and COVID-19 vaccines. Wow, that's very good definition. And it is so relevant to the current COVID pandemic. I'm sure that many students will be interested in the medical biotechnology program. Then let me tell you about the program. So IMU is offering three years honors program of medical biotechnology and students may join the program either in July or September. Prof. Jin, I have a great news to share with you. Recently, the MB program has obtained the transition accreditation from Malaysia Board of Technology and Board, and it will be fully accredited in a few months time. With this recognition, it will increase the chances of employment for our graduates in biotechnology industry. That's indeed great news. My understanding is that all graduates will be certified as graduate technologists upon receiving their IMU MB degree. Is that correct? Yes, of course. Hmm. This will definitely improve their chances of securing great careers and jobs. Prof. Chin, is this only for local recognition? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's only for local recognition. Then how about the international benchmarking? Is the MB program at IMU recognized worldwide? Yes, it is. So can you please share with us about the partner university for MB program? Yeah, Chuyen, the MB program is recognized both locally and internationally. So let me tell you about our two partner universities. First, let me share with you about our undergraduate partner university, University of Newcastle in Australia. Students spend a year and a half in IMU, after which they will credit transfer to Newcastle for another two years to complete their undergraduate degree. However, if a student is interested in the undergraduate MB program in IMU, but would also like to enter the master's program, then we have a UK partner in University of Strathclyde. Upon completing the three-year IMU MBU undergraduate degree, the students are eligible to directly enter the one-year master's program in Strathclyde. That's interesting, such a great opportunity to travel and study abroad. How I wish to be young again and study abroad in the Patna University. You want to go back to school again, Chu Yan? Yeah, the opportunity <laughs> now are great. Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> So, Prof. Chin, there are many universities out there offer the biotechnology program in Malaysia. So, with many choices, what makes IMU's medical biotechnology program stand out from the rest? Yeah, there are many, many choices, Chin. You're absolutely right. There are over 20 general biotechnology undergraduates program in the entire Malaysia. But let me explain to you why IMU's MB program is the student's preferred choice. The first reason is because IMU is the first university in Malaysia to offer this groundbreaking biotechnology program. 
as IMU is Malaysia's first and foremost private premier medical and health sciences university, we in the MB program pride ourselves in being pioneers in the medical sciences, as many institutions in Malaysia are offering mainly general or agricultural biotechnology. We also realize the importance of medical biotechnology discoveries and inventions in this current pandemic era. Medical biotechnologists are responsible for major medications for preventing diseases. For example, the use of bacteria factories to make recombinant insulin that every diabetic patient relies on. And most recently, the generation of COVID-19 vaccines, such as those from Pfizer and AstraZeneca. The other compelling reason is that IMU is a university with over 30 years of experience in running medical and health sciences program. And because of this, we have established and built up an excellent medical biotechnology curricula with international and local faculty who work very closely with our students to foster excellent learning environments. Additionally, there are two other reasons why students prefer our MB program in IMU. The first, the exposure to entrepreneurship. In today's economy, whereby careers and jobs require basic knowledge of setting up a business, our students learn very early on the importance of finance and management. A few of our MB graduates have gone on to set up their own companies locally and internationally. Isn't that amazing, Yen? They set yeah. up their own companies, yeah? So, yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, the second reason is that both faculty and students work very closely by biotechnology and other health and medical sciences industries. Input from our industrial partners have not only strengthened our MB academic curriculum in today's changing environment, they have also prepared our students to enter the workforce. Can I add a third reason, Chu Yan? Yes, go ahead, please. We also have another partner industry that is Malaysia's own Bioeconomy Corporation, where they prepare our students to have fruitful careers in the local market. Wow, that's cool. We have a lot of support from industries, and I'm sure that our students will be very well prepared to work in the biotechnology industry. Prof Chin, can you share with us a little bit more on the career opportunity for MB graduates? And is there any alternative career other than the entrepreneur and industry? Because I'm sure some of the students would prefer to put it as study. Sure, Julian. You know, life after MB can be fun. As the job scope of the MB program is quite broad, our graduates will have opportunities to work in four main areas, as you can see on the slide. The first is quality and regulatory affairs. Then there's research and development. Then there's business development, and eventually you have we come to entrepreneurship, as we had mentioned earlier. Other than that, for those who would like to further their studies in graduate schools, they may transition into the master's degree or MBA program, or even enter the PhD programs directly. I see. It looks like there are many career opportunities out there for MBA graduates. Yes, there are. Yep. Before we end this dialogue, let's share with the audience two frequently asked questions or FAQs. What are FAQs, Julian? Ah, FAQ are the questions that we are always asked during the MB inquiries. So the first frequently asked question is, where do MB graduates further their postgraduate studies? As you know, the MB program is internationally benchmark. Many of our students continue their graduate studies at various leading universities, not only in Malaysia, but also abroad, such as the United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, and Singapore. That's great. Our MB program is well accepted by international institutions worldwide. Yep. The second frequently asked question is the above. Since there are two key science programs in the School of Health Sciences, can you enlighten us what is the difference between the biomedical science and medical biotechnology? Yeah, it can really be confusing. As both of these programs involve laboratory research components. So let's start with the definition of biomedical science. Biomedical science studies how cells, tissues, and organs function in the human body, as well as understanding the progression of diseases. While medical biotechnology studies the DNA of living organisms, such as viruses and bacteria, and how they are used to create ways to help detect 
treat and manage diseases. Some examples that we currently see in our daily lives are as follows. First, COVID-19 diagnostic tools and kits. Secondly, COVID-19 vaccines themselves. And most recently and very controversially, gene editing tools such as CRISPR. Wow, Prof. Chin, that's really differentiate the PM and MB. Unfortunately, we have come to the end of exploring the MB program in IMU. And thank you very much, Prof. Chin, for your sharing. For those who are really interested about the MB program, you can contact us through the above link. I wish we had a little bit more time to share on the medical biotechnology program or with everybody listening, Julianne. But unfortunately, all good things come to an end. To end this short video, both Chuan and I would like to thank all of you for listening to us chatting about the MB program. Do contact us if you have more questions regarding the program, or better yet, if you have an interest in medical biotechnological inventions and breakthroughs. We welcome dialogue and scientific chats with students who love science. So on that note, thank you again, everybody. Bye. Bye.